Time now for some more Mikey Jocks action on MLB 18's Road to the Show. Now, uh, before we uh, get started for our next game here, we're going to show a player comparison. Now, as you can see here, uh, we are still at 58 overall, but with how well we've been doing, our adjusted overall is at 64. Now, the guy who we're trying to take over from eventually is at an 89 overall, a regular overall, but 93 for adjusted overall. So, now, our AAA closer... He's at a 60 overall right now, but 58 for adjusted. Our adjusted overall is six points higher than the guy at AAA. But normal overall, we're only two lower. So I'm thinking a call up to AAA might be in the future soon. Let's hope so. But in the meantime, let's play our next appearance. Yeah, we know about the uh, focus training feature because uh gone through this. Alrighty. There we go. And uh, looks like we are up 5 to 2 going to the bottom of the ninth here against Binghamton. And we are a game and a half ahead of the Akron Rubber Ducks for first in our division. Very nice. So here we go. Let's uh, shut this down. We're trying for our 16th save of the season out of 16 tries. Right now, as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning, not a bad idea, right there. Make this guy work and see if he can throw the ball over the plate. And that is going to be lifted to center. Center fielder dives, can't get to it, so that's a double. Safely. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that All right. double. We'll see so now, runner in scoring position, nobody out. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And this is high, a ball and a strike. You know, in this situation, and this isn't the first time, by the way, that I've tried career mode with a baseball video game. Like, I tried doing that with, I think, MLB 2K 13, I think it was. But I didn't really like that game's career mode all too much. The road to the show mode, on the other hand, I'm thinking is a lot better. So, we are going to be doing this road to the show for as long as we possibly can. Alright, this one's taken toward left, and left fielder is there, one down. We almost walked him. Uh, we did reach our goal, by the way, in the last episode of not walking anyone and not hitting anybody with a pitch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Boykin leads off second with one gun in the inning. Alright, that is going to be foul. Strike three, looking. Two away. Anyway, we got points for pitching clutch. Our case per nine went up. And we also got a game for break. I'm guessing that means for our breaking ball. Standing in now, Dominic Smith. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. Runner in scoring position with two He's got 42 RBIs. Oh, one, here's the pitch. That's a pretty good amount of RBIs. And there's one that gets past our shortstop. Uh, the run's going to score. So it's now a 5-3 ball game. So now the guy that represents the tying run. And that guy that just batted, he's got 43 RBIs now on the year. He's pretty unlikely to take you deep. But if you allow him to get on base, the chances of him scoring and tying this game become a lot greater. All right. 2-0, got to be careful here. Oh, that's outside. Oh, don't tell me. Don't walk him. Don't walk him. Don't do that. Don't do that. We walk him. Getting a bit hairy here. Jose Lobatone, a buck 86. Okay, we've got this guy. 
Got to get this guy. He represents the possible winning run for Binghamton. And if he goes deep, then they would win. And I would blow the save, and we do not want to do that. All right, we're one pitch away from ending that. It's time to grip it and rip it. One pitch away from ending this bad boy. Oh, nibble, but the ump didn't give it to me. All right, come on, full count. Got him! And that's going to be a win. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible time run stranded at first. Yeah, he does surrender one run. So, wait, what so he gave up a run, but we got the save. We're 16 for 16 now. You just have to be good enough to win. And he was. And, this and let's go right ahead into that next game. Actually, first let's take a look at the box score here. And we'll see that our ERA went up to 111. Uh, we're still doing good, though. And there's our uh, performance gains. So now we're up to a 59 overall. And let's see here. Alright, what's our score now? Okay, we're winning 4-1. to one. We have a three-run three lead again. And we're trying for our 17th save here. I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in. That's Towards center field, and the center fielder is there. Is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth. This crowd was hoping for one away. All right, here's Jose Lobaton. Another shot now, Jose Lobaton. This was the guy that we struck out to end that last game. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Somebody needs to go rattle the cage right here. Take the bats and start throwing them all over the dugout to get these boys. And out. not this time. I guarantee They're light hitting catcher, hitting under 200. He gets a base hit off of us. Man, I wow. Are you kidding me? One of the best switch hitters of all time. Work on his craft under the tunnel. All it's right. Easy to put the time in. But well, we're not going to worry about that. Because if he were to score, it would only be a two run game. So we're not going to worry about him. Pulled toward right center field. Esquivel over to his right. Okay, good thing we got that guy out because he's got 89 speed. He likely would have gotten an infield hit if it was uh, going to either short or third or even right second. Eric, All right. Comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. First so, slider down low, it's one and oh. Giving up three hits now already in this episode so far in under two innings pitched I still think we'll get this save though and frozen strike two and outside in a full count three and two well this is a big pitch right here Full count and throws him. Game over and we win it. And we're on a four game winning streak. Awesome. We'll see how long they can keep this up. A four to one finish in this evening's game. The Kerr took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Miguel Valencia. All right, let's get into another one. Losing pitcher Matt Harvey. Whatever happened to him? Closes the door for the save, his 17th on the year. So that'll just about do it. All right, we're going to get into another game, and we are going to finish off the series against the Rumble Ponies, it looks like. And, oh, we're only at one to, we're one to nothing. We're in the bottom of the 10th, so I'm guessing, I'm guessing it was 0-0 zero, zero after 9, and then we scored in the top of the 10th, so now we're ahead by a run, and we've got a save opportunity now. So we're trying for our fifth straight win, but it's only a one-run lead, so our margin for error is uh, kind of on the small side here. So we're trying for save number 18, and there's a swing and a miss for strike three. 
I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and trying to protect before the ball even left the pitcher's hand. That pitch wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. Into the box, Philip Evans. All right, one down. He swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. Philip Evans, really 0 for 3, sitting 188 three on the so season. Hey, ouch. All right, we should be able to get this guy, no problem. Knee-high fastball. Bases are empty, one man out. And oh, don't hit him. Part of the plate here is that misses. Not sure if that was well, the ponies only have one hit. Just saw that on the scoreboard. They've only got one hit. And we struck the guy out. Two down. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the battery. Alright, Eric Vick hitting 303 on the year, but he's 0 for 3 in this one. Yeah, a lot of these Rumble ponies have not had very much luck hitting in this game. In there, no balls in a strike. Missed with a slider. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. One, two pitch. Swing and a miss. And the throw to first will end it. Three up, three down. And we get the save. We have 18 now out of 18 opportunities. That game flew by, but that's what happens when you get a well-pitched one-run game. Both hurlers battle. And it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. A single run good enough to do it today. one nothing. the final score. Miguel right. Yeah, it looks like we got to go back to the clubhouse. Number 64 wraps it up for the save. Well, right, let's look at the box score for this game here. So our starter, Saltzman, he went eight innings, gave up only one hit. Too bad we couldn't score any runs for anybody. Our reliever, Cedeno, he walked two in the ninth inning. Somehow managed to escape that without giving up a run. He gets the win, and we get the save. We have 18 on the year, as mentioned. All right, so now we got to go back to the clubhouse because I'm assuming that that series is over. Yeah, we struck out the side in that ninth inning in that game. And, yeah, that series is over, so uh, we're going to face New Hampshire next. Uh, first, let's go ahead and save. I think we might face New Hampshire next, but remember, we are a closer, so whoever we go up against, we go up against. There we go, so that is saved. And we're up to a 37 and 29 record now. We are on a five game winning streak. We're free ahead of Akron. And we're going to leave things off here for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.